previously on Nikki and Gabby Jersey Shore. Nikki planned this trip for us. A good ass road trip, a good ass mansion. What can go wrong? Why, why are you why, why are you, why are you this? Tonight's not gonna go as expected. Friends, do they like really hate us? A fight is definitely gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a little something. This is just not rubbing me the right way. Rachel is just entertaining her and her friend. They're just drinking shots. Tonight's not gonna go as expected. What I am to you is that to me. I'm waking up and I'm feeling ready to be 26. I thought I was gonna be so scared to turn 26, but it feels better than 25 for some reason. It's my birthday. I'm 26. I didn't think people would still care about my life by this age, to be honest. I thought like people would literally stop watching me on You're so old. Like Nikki fashion, we woke up and we worked on our birthday because I wouldn't want to do anything else. Uh, I'm going through all the Snapchat reality show promo photos, picking which one to post, and helping Nate with the thumbnail for our birthday gift exchange video because he does our thumbnails. Yeah, you guys are seeing a little bit of the behind the scenes of Nikki and Gabby. Um, just because we're on vacation doesn't mean we don't work. We always bring our shit with us and the show must go on, even if it's my birthday, because that's life. <laughs> this is my first birthday being engaged, so it felt really cool to just wake up to my fiance while I'm turning 26. I'm gonna go get my coffee, I'm gonna do my makeup with the girls, and we're gonna have an amazing, magical birthday. So even though I was able to be cordial with Rachel's best friend, and I was able to party with them and learn about her. December 9th, snowing, hit a tree. Wait, 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 you hit a tree? Oh yeah, hit a tree. Oh my god. I know that I have to talk to Rachel this morning, even though it's my birthday. You know, Rachel is my best friend, and if I'm feeling a type of way, I owe it to her to be honest about how I'm feeling instead of being fake. So Rachel and Nikki are talking, and I'm super happy that they're figuring it out because Nikki deserves a good birthday just as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, you were very, like, not yourself. Last night? Yeah, like the whole night. <sighs> I, do you know Actually, I, I feel like... Not just like night, I feel like the whole day. Like since I, like when I first saw you. But maybe really? it was just, yeah. I actually feel the opposite. I feel like I arrived with high hopes. Like, you know, I was like seeing your snap story that you were already down here at the beach and like mm -hmm. Charles was down here. And I was like, oh, whatever. Like you're, you're a free bitch. You do what you want. I do me. Then we're all going to spend this week together. That's, mm -hmm. I've been like telling myself like this week, this week, this week, you know. Even if I haven't seen you for the past few months, I kept telling myself, like, it's okay, like, Rachel's working a lot, like, you'll see her the week of your birthday. So, like, anytime I'd get in my head, like, why doesn't Rachel try to see me? I'm like, Nikki, she's working, and she's taking off for your birthday. Like, I tried to, like, yeah. dodge those thoughts a lot. Yeah. And then when I saw, like, that you guys were all hanging out, I was like, Nikki, she's literally hanging out with her friend now. She will be with you this week. And I was just, like, mm -hmm. trying to be not be dramatic for once and overly sensitive. Yeah, well, the other thing is, is like, like, cause I ditched her, I'm ditching her on her birthday, like to be here for you. Mm -hmm. And like- Well, I didn't know that. I, I know that she here. won't say it, but like, I know that she was upset by it. Like, I know she was. I also find out that it's Rachel's friend's birthday too this week, but instead of spending it with her, she's spending it with us and just wanted to give her those few days before we got to the beach so that way her friend didn't feel so like left in the blue. In some way, like I still have to meet her needs. And so like, even though it's not the best scenario, like our kind of compromise on that was for her to come down with me for the first half of the, half of the week before yeah. you guys all got here. See, I didn't know that. I wish you would have like communicated to me like, hey, my friend's birthday is the same week. She's coming down to the beach with me. Yeah, well, she was gonna, I mean, it, there wasn't really a point because she was gonna leave to like this morning anyway. Yeah. She was either gonna leave and she wasn't even gonna come until Gabby, like until everybody invited her. Rachel also clarifies that just because her friend came last night doesn't mean she's gonna be here the rest of the trip. 
and that she's actually going home this morning. It's just a situation where it's like, I can't make everybody, I can't meet everybody's needs, especially this week. Okay, there was one line you said, and I know you didn't mean it this way, but it hurt a little. You were like, you know how I am to you, like that fun friend? Well, that that's who this is to me. Okay, let me put it this way. I say this all the time. What I am to you is that to me. And yeah, like, but I, I'm not fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what that means. I know you didn't mean it that way because you said it confidently no, but I, and happy. Yeah, but and, I took and it like, I said it confidently and happy because, and I wouldn't have thought twice about it because I've heard that come out of your mouth before. That like you're my happy, confident friend. That, but also that like crazy energy that I have, like that I have, I just. I haven't had somebody else that can give that to me in like a very long time. I, I feel like now that you've found that, I, we're not gonna have those like crazy like- I mean, that's not necessarily true. And like, you also have to understand that like, she and I have gotten really close. Like, we've always been friends, but like, we got really, really close and like, work right now is fucking rough. And like, I haven't been around because I literally, I literally can't get off of work. I feel like since like this year we've really matured in our friendship to where like I don't even get offended if I don't hear from you for a few months because I just know how things are for you. Yeah. But then I feel like seeing how you guys are soulmates, I was like, oh, so she hasn't been coming to PA because she found a replacement. No, we just we are literally always together, but like we work together, like we are together every day. Like even mm -hmm. if I wasn't friends with her, like I'd still be with her every single day. So it's just like. It's not like she's a replacement for you. I just think that she's like a really good addition to my life. Sometimes when we do these trips and we, like I have all these expectations and like things that like parts of me that I feel like aren't getting fulfilled mm -hmm. by like some other people and that causes like a lot of anger to build up in me. And like now that I do have that person that's going to fulfill that part of me, like I don't feel like it's necessarily possible for me to like harbor so much anger. Just because Rachel has another friend that adds to her life in a way that I can't, doesn't mean I'm any less. And I feel like that's something I have to learn. I mean, at the end of the day, like I would never miss your birthday. And also you can't be replaced. So that was just stupid of you to say. And Rachel says that I can never be replaced and that means everything. That's honestly all I needed to hear. And if this is what Rachel needs to be her happiest, best self, then maybe it's really a good thing. I'm so excited the drama's over. Now we get to have fun with all of our friends. It's a super funny scene right now. All of us bitches are getting ready and getting glammed up for tonight. And all the guys are outside on their skateboards and being guys. Sunset, it's my birthday, it's Cinco de Mayo, and everyone's getting ready for a crazy night, night number two. All right, birthday, I love you. Love you. Enjoy yourself, get drunk. Yes, drunker. I need a drunker, yeah. Right, I love you. Love you. Bye, Bye guys. Mwah. Does my outfit look worse? No. I like my pants better. Do you like mine? So a good surprise, more friends were actually able to come in time for me and Gabby's birthday today, even if it's just for the day. I'm ready, look. So Gabby's sister-in-law is in our friend group. Her name's Carly. Carly's here with Casey, Colin's brother. She's married to Colin's brother, his older brother. They bring in these two delicious looking birthday cakes. I honestly feel so good. This is exactly why I booked this house, for this specific feeling and to be around all the people I love and care about. I'm so excited to celebrate our birthday tonight. Yes. I 
honestly feel like I'm having a birthday party in first grade. Like when you feel like a celebrity with your friends, like you feel so special. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> This is raspberry lemon vanilla cake. Ooh. I'm so happy I booked this trip. Like, I'm so happy right now. I haven't felt this happy in a while. <laughs> Time to feast. Trace light cheese and <laughs> Sorry, not sorry, Nikki. Gabby always has to fucking do that. Gabby decided to throw cake in my face. A whole handful of cake. Oh my god. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Are there nuts in here? Nikki, look amazing. Nikki, you look amazing though. Yeah, you do. I spent so much time on my makeup. And now I gotta go shower. Now I gotta start from scratch. I don't know how to stay out of trouble. I am literally starting everything this trip. Am I the bad guy this season? Jesus, for the day you've given me. <laughs> All right, that's it. Take the camera. <laughs> I get out of the shower and I look in the mirror. My face has a rash all over it, and it's burning. Oh my god, I'm having an allergic reaction. What is this? Allergic, the same thing. That's nuts. So Nikki and I are allergic to the same kind of nuts, tree nuts. Nikki's thinking that this cake had those tree nuts in it that we're allergic to. Ew, it's all it's like bread. bread. It's probably honestly, it was I probably mean, also it, list of things? <laughs> it probably also just scratched you. No, my nose is stuffy. Let me see. We're all the way on an island, Long Beach Island. We don't know if there's like a nearby hospital. We don't know if I should go ahead and use my EpiPen, if it's that serious. Wait, wait, wait. If you're no wait, guys, everyone stop talking. Literally shut the fuck up. If your nose is itchy, you need Benadryl. Yeah, I know, my nose is done. So of course my mind goes to worst case scenario that there were walnuts on the cake. It's not nuts. What if they made that toffee with walnuts? There's no, there's no, no walnuts in toffee. It's Arnold, like first, sugar, I'm yeah. just con concerned, like why doesn't a cake have ingredients on the label? Like no. this would be solved if we could just read the label. But then my logic kicks in, and I remember how I was showering after I had the cake on me. You, and I, I think you scrubbed your face really yeah, hard. Yeah, like. And I literally gave myself a physical microdermabrasion with my own hands and nuts. So all the scraping of the nuts in the icing on my face made my face break out in this rash because I irritated it. It's not nuts, you're not having an allergic reaction. You also just, just, I literally watched hurts. you scrub the shit out of your face Maybe in the shower. I, I promise like, it's not nuts. I basically used an abrasive facial scrub. So no wonder my face is freaking out. My face is like, what the fuck is going on? It's already going down. minutes pass and I'm fixing my makeup and my skin is actually getting more calm and it's like going down so I'm realizing yeah this definitely is from over rubbing my face in the shower I did this to myself I'm so happy that Nikki's okay because first of all it's our birthday and second of all I would have ruined two nights in a row I want to bring the mood back up. I feel like I scared everybody. I scared myself. I need to get everybody back in the party mood. So we're all having fun, but I did waste two hours getting re ready for the night. But the fact that I just shut up and did my own hair and makeup and just moved on with the night shows my growth. Because <laughs> I feel like I would have freaked out just a year ago.
I'm still feeling really bad about everything that happened with Nikki tonight and last night. I'm gonna try and make tomorrow the best that I can considering how rough the first two nights were. Next week on Nikki and Gabby Jersey Shore. I've been putting on a fake smile. I'm tired of pretending that I'm okay.